Hey guys, this is RG with Six Logistics. So today, as you can see in the photo behind me, we're actually going to be discussing how to make a bulkhead or a header board. I generally refer to them as header boards. You refer to them however you want, um, but ultimately kind of means the same thing. So as you can see here, and let me get myself out of the photo a little bit. Um, in this particular case, we have one, two, three, four, five. Uh, five four by four stacked on top of one another. <clears throat> and then you have, again, what I refer to as the two triangles. So you have the chain um, going down one side and back up the other and connecting there on the very top on the top uh, four by four. The same thing on the other side, one on the driver's side. One on the passenger side, and then uh, there in the middle, you have the chain binder kind of connecting and then doing what the chain binder does and tightening uh, the chain down. So let me get to another image. So one of the things that you want to do or want to ensure is that your chain is on either side and is really touching either side of your four by fours to ensure that it's building stability into your header board um, and you, the way that you do that is that you go around either one of your pipe stakes or just one of your pegs you're not going to go around multiple as you maybe generally would again as you're if you're securing a load with a chain uh, when building a header board you, again you're only going to go around a pipe stake or one of the pegs uh, let me try to go to another image and that may show it a little bit better unfortunately it does not um, but again, you can see that the chain is, again, touching either side of the 4 by 4s And what that's doing is, is it's giving it the stability that it needs in, in, in strengthening, uh, you know, the 4 by 4s and the header board, essentially. The other thing that I want to point out, and let me try to get out of this photo a little bit more, is ideally, in a perfect scenario, is you're going to have your chain triangles. Uh, so this one right here and that one right there you can kind of see it my fingers aren't showing up very well uh the closer that is to the chain binder the better it is the further it extends out right the further the, the closer it is to your chain binder the more it strengthens uh your your header board it almost serves as a trip chain so i do want to show you one other thing so okay let me get out of this image so again in this scenario uh i believe it was actually brian that uh, has this header board built um you can see it's built right up to the i-beams right um and, and the nice let me show you let me find the other image here it is oops there we go let me get out of the way there you go so now you can see obviously there's two layers of i-beams uh, and obviously the header board doesn't go up, you know, I don't, six feet or whatever that is, uh, to the top of the second row. And that's okay. And let me explain why it's okay. If your foundation of anything is weak, whether it's your home, whether it's your family, right? And you're here to <laughs> your family unit sometimes as a foundation, if those are weak, the rest of your load, will, uh, you, the rest of your family will also be weak. And, and the same idea here. On this load, uh, there are three chains on the bottom layer. And then he has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven over top. So essentially, there are 10 chains. So 100,000 pounds of securement on a, I have no idea, but roughly 45,000 pound load. But again, three of those are on the bottom. Uh, three chains are on the bottom and again the header board so in a worst case scenario right if that load shifts forward if our foundation shifts forward the header board is eliminating it from going forward and moving forward and ruining the foundation so that's why he still built a header board despite the fact that it's not touching the top layer um let me see if i can find another image here no, I don't. Maybe I didn't bring it out. But again, the idea, guys, is uh, you know, again, building one is just adding an additional layer of securement, an additional layer, really, of a redundancy to ensure that 
you know, again, if all of our securement fails, and the reason that we're building it immediately in front of the load is that that way a 40,000 pound whatever load can't build momentum and then possibly go into the back of our trucks. Um, you know, unfortunately, we had an incident recently where that happened. Again, we didn't have a header board. We we thought we secured it appropriately. We, we secured it over DOT standards and it failed. Um, but we have learned from that mistake. And again, now we are adding header boards when and where we can um, to, to ensure. And we're also adding chains in the front of our loads when and where we can and, and things of that nature. Again, to ensure that we're a little bit safer and even safer than we were before. We were safe before, but now we're even safer. So, but going back to the header board more specifically, on this particular one, the only thing that I would do slightly differently is to try to ex extend that chain hook or that triangle to about here, a little closer to that hook or to the chain binder. Otherwise, this is perfect. Again, and the reason we want to do that is to give more, a little bit more stability to the header board. But otherwise, this is really, really good. Um, and again, I just want to give you another image here, <clears throat> you know, where this one is extended a little closer to the chain binder. Um, this one won't show it, but again, just make sure that your chain is touching either side of your four by fours. Um, as you can again, see here. And then guys, again, it's just one other way to ensure that we're going to be a little bit safer out there and that we're not going to um experience really any problems uh with our loads going forward so and to ensure that you know we won't have forward movement so again building a header board you know it's gonna take five or ten minutes it is a little bit of extra work no doubt about it but that little extra work saves us it's well worth it so all right guys rg with six logistics be smart and you'll be safe thanks guys Bye bye